be just like Pirate Pete on TV. Hey there. Oh, hey there. Here we go. What's gonna happen? They're too close to each other. They hanging out? She's reading, he's watching TV. Take time to see new James Bond. Oh. oh what? She's, <laughs> she's like, oh, 50 shades of gray. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Selecting the promo forms will choose Linda's resolution for this chapter. Dan and Tommy will be disappointed. I can't find what they want, though. Oh, shoot, I just chose it. Oh, crap. I didn't actually mean to do that. I wanted to see what Tommy and... Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, well, we can find out what they wanted here. It doesn't really make too much of a difference. All right. So there's the notebook again. Let's do the notebook. Wait, we can't do the notebook. Hmm. Well, I'd like to choose Dan's for this chapter so he at least gets some work done. I think Tommy can understand his parents have to work. Because he did get one adventure ticket anyway, so it's like... I bet, you know what? I bet that's his thing, though. I bet that's the thing you can choose for him. Let's see. Go exploring. I'm gonna read the rest. See a shark. Stupid forms, few more days. What is under there? Oh, shoes. Oh, let's read the other one downstairs. I thought I had already read it, but... I failed to log my activities yesterday as nothing of note occurred. There have been no tricks of the light for two days, and I've grown certain that the ones I saw were reflections from the ocean probably reaching the house. I've been able to focus on the task and hand, and hand at hand, and I'm suitably pleased with the condition of the property. I also have reached a decision on how to proceed. It came to me this morning as I stood in the conservatory, admiring the beauty of the forest. I hadn't begun my work yet, and I was, and was thinking of nothing in particular. When an idea came into my head fully formed, I was surprised that it appeared with such clarity. But it's not unheard of for the mind to ponder a question in the subconscious. As for the idea, it is quite simple. I will buy the house myself. Alright, I don't- is that like his writing? Is that Dan's writings or is that like real? <laughs> I'm not sure. Let's go read the one downstairs too in case it was different. Alright, here. I'm now certain there's something strange with the light here. It must be those windows. I was reviewing old deeds in the living area and saw some sort of flash of light out of the corner of my eye. I would assume the elevation would put the ocean too far away for the sun to reflect off a wave, but perhaps not. I looked, but there was nothing there except a strange shimmer, like heat above the asphalt of a hot road. It dissipated almost immediately. Perhaps some concentration of the light caused it. But on to work, I've begun cataloging possible options for the property. I owe Mr. Lowry a, repeat, uh, a report by the 24th. Why is she so okay, so let's see what this is. The art show was a huge opportunity for Linda, so after getting an earful from Paul, Dan spent Saturday working on an announcement ad for the local paper. He called every writer he knew to ask if their agents knew anyone in the art world, and on the fourth call he got lucky. The effort paid off. The show was a hit. Well, good for Linda. Tommy spent Saturday playing by the window, looking out at the beach, and wishing his dad wasn't so busy doing grown-up things. He tried to use the shovel that came with his bucket as a jump for his cars, but it was too light and kept sliding out of the way. It was weeks before he played with his bucket again. Oh, <laughs> What's... oh that damn bucket! Dan missed his deadline, Paul called to chew him out, and even though Tommy and Linda were both upstairs, they could hear the agent's voice over the phone. It just added to the pressure that Dan was putting on himself, and he spent two days in a distracted fog before he got back into any sort of rhythm on his book. I'm sorry, Dan. This chapter is for you. Hopefully. Unless it's, like, really bad that we take your decision. <laughs> The funeral. Oh no, the funeral. That night, Linda got 
a phone call. Ah, <laughs> those never last long enough. It looks really nice at night when you can see it in full cover a color. I cannot talk today at like at all. Oh, no. Call Paul first thing tomorrow morning. Any possible way to move it? Is this thing announced yet? Ooh, this guy. What do I say? All right. I walked out to the bluff to remember Grandma Jo and say goodbye. And on the way back, I started thinking about what it really means to have a family, to make that your focus. She seemed to take such joy in being surrounded by her family, providing for them, taking care of them. I hope I never took that for granted. When I got back to the house, a question hit me that I can't get out of my head. What will Tommy think about Dan and me when he gets older? And what if Tommy has kids of his own? I can't even begin to think of myself as a grandmother. I haven't even been a mother for that long and I'm still feeling my way through what it means to be a good one. At least I'll always have an example. I miss you, Grandma Jo, and I'll never forget you. I promise. Oh. Grandma Jo. Visiting artist Linda K Kaplan's show this week was the talk of the local art world. Hosted at the Westlake Gallery, the collection on display was striking. The artist, joined by her husband and son, was on hand to discuss her work with guests who filled the room nearly to capacity. Unlike other recent so shows, this one, dot dot dot. But what about the rest of the article? Mm. Reservations for Friday. Hope we can find a babysitter. Oh, there's Dan. Well, let's we're we're up here now. Let's check out um, Tommy. Want a new plane? This seems to always be a memory. I think it, it's based on his moods, like what his mouth is doing. So I wonder. If, eh, whatever. Is she in heaven? I'm sure she is. Honey, 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 honey. Honey, honey, honey. I like how it echoed. Honey, honey, honey. Is that all his memories? Yeah, we, that's all. The, the rocket noises, damn it! Alright. See what's up to, what Dan is up to. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, magazine! Mark the 21st of this month on your calendars. For one day only, watch the world-famous Fighter Five as they scream across the sky. Witness death-defying feats of flying in a display unlike anything you've ever seen. Guaranteed to blow you away. Don't miss it. All right. Anne, I just got off the phone with Mom. She told me about Grandma Jo. I know we expected it sooner rather than later, but this is hitting me so much harder than when Granddad died last year. Do you remember going to Grandma Joe's house after school on Wednesdays and playing until Mom got off work? How Grandma Joe always had a surprise for us? Even if it was just cookies in the oven, she'd always time it so the whole house would smell like them when we got there. I hope the minister captures those little moments because they don't seem as little now. I wish the circumstances were different, but it will still be good to see you at the funeral. What am I saying? You probably won't even get this until after the funeral. I guess I just needed to write anyway. Love, Linda. All right. I wonder who um Anne is. But it could be her sister, maybe yeah. not. Well, I when she I don't I think the sister would know and be at the funeral for sure. Who knows though? Maybe it's a lesbian lover. Hey. Uh, hey, Tom. Hey. Hey. Um, yeah, that's kind of right. After someone dies, like, little memories seem a lot larger than they, they really were. Like, it was like the little things become the big things. Afford to miss it? What are you saying? Can't believe it. 
You can't believe it. <gasps> Lynn, I'm so sorry. Tell me what I can Just do. Just be here for me. All right. Do 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 and do 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 Where is the next memory? Hello? Yeah, there's no memory here. Where is next memory? Ah. What? Just called Paul. Didn't even get a chance to explain before he started in on me. Reamed me out. Absolutely killed me. No point writing any more than that. Writing everything here instead of working on the book is what screwed me in the first place. All right. So we found all their memories so far. Now we're just gonna have to um, up in heaven. Oops. How's my man? Thanks, Dad. What? That might work. You just stepped on him. You just stepped on your son. You stepped directly on him. You said, "What's up, man?" And he said, "Thanks, Dad." And then you stepped Hi. on him. Hey, mommy. Man, this family has issues. Was a heck of a sandcastle I made with the little guy after I stepped on him. Have to be the 21st. Looks like he has a deadline on the 21st. Keep it together for Tommy. Daddy says the candy store is our secret. What? <laughs> oh, just because sugars and sweets. Oh. Never mind. Apparently, I thought they were boozing. Most of you here knew my grandmother. For those who didn't, I truly wish you had. She was an example for all of us. Her warmth, her caring, and her smile were impossible to forget. It's still hard for me to believe she's gone. Without her, the world is now... <laughs> yeah. Without her, the world is. And then there's a sound effect from the little boy playing in the other room, and he's like, mm. Without her, the world is. Mm. Mm. All right. Let's calm down. All right. Whew. Okay. So. Oh, more papers. Oh, we can't look at those. So it looks like he's getting something Hi, done, though. Hey. Hey. Hi, oh, no. Joe's funeral's the same day as the signing in Eugene, and Paul says they can't move it. He'll understand if I bail because he knows Linda, but Grofield is a different story. They won't give a damn why I missed it. They'll just get a memo and put it in a spreadsheet somewhere and write me off just a little bit more. And it's not just the timing. If I do the reading, I've got to get that chapter in shape. It's not even remotely ready for anyone to see it. Can't worry about what Paul says. He's my agent. He's supposed to stroke me. And what about Tommy? Oh, wow. So, he either needs to miss the funeral. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, that's a happy picture. Alright, so my thoughts on this. While, I mean, it's not good that he should miss that. I mean, if you, if you had more options here, I think Dan should call his work and be like, Yo, I got a funeral I need to go to. If he couldn't miss it, I think... Oh no. I feel like Faster. he had just helped out Linda though with her work, you know, writing the whole thing for her, and it helped make her art show an ex a success. And so maybe she might have to go to the funeral without him. She knew I loved her. I think that might have to be what we do here. No. The magazine says there are going to be tons of planes. Okay. I know, and that's on the 21st, isn't it? Yeah. No. We cannot do that. No! I fuck! I keep doing it! I keep fucking doing it! Shit! Why do I do this? What is the matter with me? Oh, that is so bad. Ah, oh, why can't I take it back? I keep... Oh. I don't know what's wrong with me. I just get... Mm, my finger is like, ah, E. Because I keep thinking E is the way to exit because you press E to exit the memories. And then I keep pressing E to, e to exit those. Oh, that is so bad. 
From the desk of Harold Baxter, a final entry before I depart. The bank would no doubt prevent me from purchasing the house due to the inherent conflict of interest, but given its history of frequent ownership changes, I feel confident the mortgage department will be glad to have the more property off their hands. I believe I can set up a trust or perhaps a shell company and convince Mr. Lowry that we must part with property for less than market value. I feel certain I can appeal to his conservative nature. I believe it will prove to be a shrewd investment as a rental property, and I think I now understand why people do not stay for extended periods. I find myself unable to describe the feeling precisely, but in my time here, I found my mind drifting in strange ways, as if it was not always my own. But the nature, but the natural beauty is undeniable. Perhaps shorter visits are a wiser use of the property. Yes, I believe that is a fine idea indeed. Dang it. I feel like an ass. But it's, it's like you get used to pressing E to exit things, and then when you try and exit them, you keep doing it. The Diary of Claire Bradford. We're here, so why don't I feel more excited? This was supposed to be fun. Just Roger and me, Mom and Dad. I think we're here with Ben and Lori, but of course that was just a trick. Nope, just Roger and me in this big house by the ocean for the whole week. I'm sad to see that there's no piano here, but I suppose a week without practice won't do me too much harm. I guess maybe being alone with Roger that long is what's making me feel nervous. Though, why should that be? He's my fiancé, after all. If I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with him, I shouldn't be worried about spending the week with him, should I? Everyone has second thoughts before they get married, right? Will people even show up? Myself one day? Be there for Linda, don't have the words. Does he want to be- explain it to Tommy. Forget all about me. Forgotten all about me. Miss Joe too. Can't even imagine. I have a feeling like Dan wants to like spend more time with his family instead of this writing project. He doesn't like this writing project. Maybe it's best he just says fuck it. I mean, then he could write for himself and I think that would be a lot more freeing. Alright, well, I think we want to do that. Yeah, I think, you know, he's not enjoying this project. Screw it. Screw it. We don't need it. Alright, let's go. I didn't see anything we could select for them, so I'm just gonna do this. Dan thought about Tommy spending the summer alone with no friends nearby and decided that he needed to do something special for his little man. They drove to the air show and Tommy could barely contain his excitement. He was even able to meet one of the pilots after the show. They had their picture taken together and the pilot gave Tommy a pair of captain wings. Does this mean Linda went to the funeral by herself? Paul was livid when Dan called and said he couldn't make the reading. Dan was used... Dan was used to his agent laying into him, though. What really worried him was that he hadn't gotten a chance to work on the, the chapter Paul had asked him to read. That gnawed at him. He knew he couldn't afford to keep putting his book second if he wanted to, it to be his best work. Linda went to the funeral by herself, and it was even harder than she had expected it to be. It helped that almost everyone in her family came to say goodbye to Grandma Joe, but when Linda cried herself to sleep that night in an empty hotel bed, she felt more alone than she ever had in her life. Oh, I wanted, I wanted Dan to go with her. Oh, this is, and that's how the Kaplan's first month at house on the cliff came to an end. Oh, really? Paul asked to see some of Dan's progress, and it took Dan two days to work up the courage to call his agent and tell him that there had been none. There wasn't enough of a book to even call it a disaster. It simply wasn't there. The next day, Dan made good on a promise to take Tommy into the woods and look for arrowheads. Dan had researched local tribes, and he regaled Tommy with stories of Native American history while they got dirty looking for arrowheads at the site of a... Sousla settlement. They stayed until sundown laughing, digging, and taking the arrowheads Tommy found. A few nights later, Dan and Linda got a babysitter and drove into town for a date. They spent more than they should have on a bottle of wine and had such a good time that they didn't notice everyone else was leaving. When they finally realized they were the last ones in the restaurant, they apologized and left after giving their waitress a generous tip.
They still had two more months on the coast and their story was just beginning. The inheritance. Ooh. Ooh. Dan got a letter with some surprising news, perhaps. Oh, new picture. Frisbee. Oh, did he make a friend? Must have made a friend. Or he's, mm. it's a make-believe friend. 